right, in today's fun and exciting video, what we're going to be learning about is getting the equation. Now, you've seen this equation before, getting y equals mx plus b from two points. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to invent two points here. One is a, let's say, and these, this is just an example, a, 2, 3. And the other point B is going to be negative 2, negative 3. These are examples, okay, example points. So we need the equation Y equals MX plus B. So what do we need from the equation, though? Um, we need to calculate two things. M, which is the slope. We've learned about this before. And B, B is the Y intercept. There you go. So we need to find both values. How do we get them? Well, we're given two points. And the first coordinate is always the x coordinate. The second coordinate is always the y coordinate. Okay? I'm going to label one of the points x1, y1. And the second point, I'm going to label x2, y2. And now, what I have to do is I have to use my slope equation. Now, what is the slope equation? Well, step one, calculate slope using m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. <clears throat> All I have to do is plug in this x, this x, this y, this y into my equation and I get my slope. Dun, dun, dun. So here we go. M equals negative 3 minus 3 over negative 2 minus 2. Okay, so I've plugged in negative 3 for y2 and 3 for y1. And I get negative 3 minus 3. And I've done the same thing for x. And this is what I get. Negative 6 over negative 4. What does that reduce to? That's right, it reduces to 3 over 2. I found the slope. That's great. So if I go back to my equation, slope is done. Bingo. All set. Now, here's what I need. I need the y-intercept. How do I get the y-intercept? So step 2. So let's do this in blue. Step 2. Plug in either either one of the points any either one doesn't matter um, so we're plugging in so we're basically plugging in in parentheses plugging in X and Y coordinates of the point Also, we are plugging in M. So we're going to plug in X, Y, and M into our equation. Um, and what we're going to be left with is we're going to be left with the y-intercept. Okay. So we found the slope. The slope is 3 over 2. Now the equation is Y equals MX plus B. So this is M. Okay. That's M. So y equals 3 over 2x plus b is my equation. Now, all I need is to use any of the points. I'm just going to pick a. Now, coordinates for a, if we look up, the coordinates for a were 2, comma 3. Okay, so let me rewrite that. That means that the x for this point is 2. The y for the point is 3. So all I have to do is shove 3 into here and 2 into there. And then I isolate for B. So let's do that, shall we? Um, let's go 3 over 2 times 2. That's X. Equals to 3, which is Y. Now, all I have to do is figure out what I have over here. So... 2 can be written as 2 over 1, so I'm basically multiplying these fractions together. What do I get? 6 over 2 plus b equals 3. 
6 over 2 can be reduced to 3 over 1, or just 3. And now all I have to do is isolate the simple equation for b. Um, so I'm moving b over, and I have to change sign. So I get 3 minus 3 equals b, which means that b is equal to 0. And therefore, I found m, and I found b, and all I have to do is plug in m and b. Now plugging in 0 does absolutely nothing, so I'm just going to get rid of that. This, ladies and gentlemen, is my equation. This is how you find y equals mx plus b from two general points. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Peace out. Bye-bye.